Okay, now that our uh, our base our scenes are imported and those loading screen, or, uh, I'm sorry, build settings are set up, um, what we need to do now is set up the player prefab in each of our scenes. Um, so what we need to do is go into our resources, uh, prefabs, and then player folder. We're gonna see two prefabs in here. Um, and we just wanna add both of these to each of our scenes. So in the base scene starting, we're gonna add the player, and then we're going to add the player camera. We should see them appear somewhere um, in our scene, exactly where, um, you know, hard to say. Sometimes, yeah, so you could put them in the water. Um, if we just select it uh, here and then tap the W key and also make sure that in this top left corner, this center thing is set to pivot, we'll see our movement gizmo. I'm going to move my player up into, oops, into the middle of our, uh, our scene here. And then move my player camera um, the same way over here towards... Uh, our player and then the last thing we need to do here is go to the player camera object and set uh, this player reference field down here at the bottom we're going to drag player into that that's going to make our camera follow our player around if we hit play we should be able to now see um, oh, we got to disable this canvas there we go um, you may not have to do that if you hit play and you don't see that um, so yeah, now we can move around we can move our camera and we can walk around with our player. Uh, we now need to do the, next, the same thing in our uh, our level scene. So we go back to the snow folder, um, find the scenes folder, and then snow level. And make sure we save this scene too. So if you haven't already, hit control S or just tap the save button when you try to change scenes. This is going to take us to our dungeon level. This will be where we actually get to fight um, our enemies and stuff. Um, so what we're gonna do now is the same thing. We're gonna go to prefabs and then player. Uh, drag the player prefab in anywhere. You can pick whatever starting point you like, um, although the dungeon gate, which we will be setting up later to move us back to our base scene is in the corner over here. Um, so I'm gonna put mine on the opposite end and then same thing, drag my player camera out. Um, and then once again, we're gonna drag uh, the player object into our player reference field here for the player camera. Once you've got that set up, go ahead and save this scene as well. And then let's move back to our uh, base scene so we can finish uh, decorating that.